Well, I'm going to test this new RF power meter that is 10 megahertz up to 20 gigahertz and it's quite good. I tested up to 6 gigahertz with a SDR and it's quite good. It's as good as this one and as good as this one this one go is up to 10 gigahertz only but it has more dynamic range and it can get from 100 kilohertz so can go lower and have more dynamic range to play with attenuators than this one which is a little bit cheaper than this one but more or less but these two are a lot more cheaper than this one sorry that is because this is up to 40 gigahertz but in a screen is only 20 gigahertz like this one the dynamic range is the same than this one probably is not the same chip but the specs are a little different maybe a different version of the chip but uh, these two behave more or less the same uh, higher you go this calibration is better than this one but in up to 6 gigahertz this one uh, has a, like, a, like a deviation of 2 decibels that is known and always I have it corrected there it's normal in this one so so yeah in some way the calibration of this in some range is better than this one but obviously this one half a screen uh, is better and uh, and in the high in the highest uh, frequencies it, this one works better so they are no you can use any of them for everything but they complement themselves so also I have this one Uh, which is more for it's cheapest, it's cheaper, uh, it's, and is mainly for this kind of stuff of walkie talkies. These ones are more for SDRs, lab, not as much for power device, high power devices like transmitters, radios, and things like that. Uh, for that, is better this one, and it's cheaper if you fry it. Uh, with these ones, you need quite good attenuators like this as a Narda 40, uh, 40 decibels so this is the software of this one it's quite nice it's probably of of this tree that all of them use software probably this one has the better software or the cleanest one and also admit, uh, accepts a full screen and it looks that it has a a uh, field calibration field that uh, on which it looks that you can uh, modify the calibration from the factory in case in case that you have maybe a uh, calibrated uh, spectrum analyzer or a signal generator with good calibration or that go so you know, uh, in case that you are not happy with the calibration, it looks that you can make your own calibration. Also, you can do it with this one. And also, in some way, you can do it with these ones. They are, it's done with uh, TTL console and with a kind of commands that you can write in the, in the MCU 
you can write the calibration just like the they do in the factory. But um, probably the best calibration all around is this one. It's a very nice, really nice uh, power meter. And with higher uh, dynamic range of these ones, these have uh, 60 dBm of dynamic range and these two have only 40. But, you know, it's, it's okay, no many. So, I'm going to, this is a Quanseng uh, that I modify myself with the chip, dual antenna mode and all that stuff, I sell them in eBay. So, I'm going to transmit in, in, in PMR. You see, you can uh, you put there the same frequency. So this is in medium power. I know that is two watts exactly, and also I know that in high is five watts, five dot one maybe. Uh, depend the the level of battery. So being full, I know this should be two watts because. I measure with a proper meter. So we're going to see if, if this if this give two watts. I click 33 two watts spot on. So as you see, this is a very good attenuator anyway. But as you see, you can um, I can raise the power, but the attenuator is 4.5 watts so it's a little short but it's a good brand is narda so uh, for a peak will be fine i don't think that i will burn it i'm not happy doing it but it's all right i'm going to do it so in five here should be five five watts so I will do fast, so I don't want to fry the attenuator, it's quite expensive. Five dot seven. Well, a little high. Maybe the attenuator is no attenuation. <laughs> we cannot be sure because it's not a proper attenuator for this. So It's a nice, it's very handy. This is CNC, it's metal, it's a small, it works in Windows. If you connect it to a phone in a terminal, you, you can see the, 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 the readings, like in a series of characters, uh, but you can make your own app, so, and it's really nice. It's good. So I just I leave the, the I leave the link for eBay where I got it. It's really nice, and it comes with a small box. So it's alright. Cheers. <laughs>